Hello everyone, here's a new video. In this one I show the new FS Labs A321 CP DLC system. This video demonstrates uh, the use of the CP DLC with the Hoppy ACAS network integrated here in the FS Labs A321. If you are interested in how to install the Hoppy code into the FS Labs, um, I'll make it a separate video on that. For now, let's just uh, go ahead and have a look how the system is used in the FS Labs. CPDLC stands for Controller Pilot Data Link Communications. So CPDLC provides a different means for air ground data communication and um, it enables ATC to transmit certain clearances like level assignments, lateral deviations, uh, vectoring, speed assignments, also the possibility to assign radio frequencies and some other things like squawk assignments and so on. Pilots on the other hand have the ability to request things like level changes, speed changes or direct to a waypoint for example. Okay, so let's have a look at the control and display units. We have our um, well-known MCDU, which has now an active ATC COM menu. By selecting that, you can get into the submenus um, for the uh, CPDLC. So you can request a connection. You can request all different things like flight level changes, direct to and so on. Also, you can have a look at the message record uh, or even do um, position reporting. New is the so-called DCDU. That stands for Data Link Control and Display Unit. And that unit is there to view the messages and also to confirm, for example, or reject um, clearances. The buttons are fairly simple. Um, the left hand side top corner is the bright and dim. That is obviously to adjust the brightness of the display. Below that message minus, message plus. That is there for simultaneous messages in the history of the flight. And you can scroll through those with those buttons. And on the right hand side we see the print function. Um, and also page minus, page plus. Which is there if uh, a message spans over more than one page. Alright, let's see the system in action. What I'm doing here is um, I've looked up uh, if there is a station online overhead Vienna and uh, the abbreviation for that is Lima Oscar Victor Victor. And so here we are and I've just sent off the logon request and you can see now it is showing as next ATC Lima Oscar Victor Victor in the DCDU. And now we just have to wait for the ATC controller to accept our request. Here you can see the radar screen of that responsible controller um, and so what he does now is simply get in the menu and uh, then say start CPDLC. In the aircraft this will show up as a new message saying current ATC unit Lima Oscar Victor Victor Wien radar. So now I'm just uh, closing that message and once it's closed you can actually press recall to bring up the uh, message again. So how do you find out which stations are online and offering CPDLC? Go to Atsu, Com Menu, and then ATC Online List. And there you have the online sectors offering, um, or possibly offering CPDLC. And the easiest method really is to just contact the ATC controller and ask him or her if uh, they are offering CPDLC. Another way would be to go directly to the Hoppy ACARS um, webpage. I'll put in a link down below um, to find the network page and there you'll see all the um, active stations online. Okay, so let's continue with the messages. Uh, right now we're getting a climb clearance uh, saying climb to flight level 330 will send Wilco and then we would wait normally until um, we get the received by ATC message so that we know that our reply has been received by ETC and then we'll activate the climb mode. I'm closing the message again um, so that we are ready to receive a new one. 
motion one. However, let's now go ahead and uh, do a request to ATC. And uh, we do that by going into the ATC com menu. Then go to requests. And even though it's not recommended to go above or far above the optimum level, um, let's just say for some reason we uh, we want to go level 350. And so I'll go ahead and request that now with ATC. So we'll enter um, 350, put that to the flat level altitude request uh, prompt and then let's say we'll request due to aircraft performance and then press transfer to DCDU and you'll see the uh, request message pop up on the DCDU and then you can just simply press send or let's say you've you know had a second thoughts about it you can actually press cancel but now let's go ahead and send it off and let's see what happens so it's saying sending on the DCDU here it is, received by ATC. So now we know that the ATC controller has received our request and hopefully he'll process that uh, very quickly. So by pressing recall, you can recall the last um, sent or received message. So here's our climb to flat level 350 instruction. Sending Wilco, well Darlin 350. And we can see the response has been received by ATC. And so we don't have to verbally confirm this over the frequency. The clearance is now valid. Let's look at something different now. So here the ATC controller is sending me a request to Squawk 1000. And there we have the response on our uh, DCDU, Squawk 1000. We will dial that in, sending Wilco, and it's received by ATC. The ATC controller will see that um, reception and the Wilco response on his screen. Now to something different. I've just requested flight level 2900, so a descend and the ATC controller is now giving me the clearance um, to descend down to flight level um, 290. And again, here it comes on our screen, on our DCDU, descend to flight level 290. Again, we'll um, send the worker response telling the controller that we are going to comply with that clearance We'll dial it into the FCU, start our descent, and uh, we can also see our downlink, our reception descent flight with 290 has been received by ATC. Right, let's keep the controller busy. Uh, we'll go to the um, ATC COM menu, and uh, we're going to request a new speed now. So go to request, and let's request Mach 0.78. Um, we don't have to put in a reason, we just transfer that to the DCU and send our request. So sending now received by ATC. All right, so we know that uh, our controller is um, reading that message. And now we just wait patiently until we receive um, a clearance. Either it's going to be denied or we get a new speed instruction. Well, as a matter of fact, he's just telling us stand by, please. He's uh, busy, so yeah, yeah, we'll confirm the standby and we'll be patient. However, here we are already getting the clearance now. Maintain Mach 0.78, Wilco, send. And again, it says sending. We can now select speed. 0.78 and our response has been received by ATC and so we'll close that um, message again. Now let's have a look at a very cool feature. Here you can see the controller giving us now a direct to clearance. Uh, he says proceed direct to Mazur. 
here is the uplink for us. And now the very cool feature is we just select load on the DCDU. And now the direct to is directly loaded into the flight plan Lex page. And we just press direct to insert. And of course we send the Wilco again so that the controller gets our response to his direct uh, instruction. And there we are, received by ATC, completed. And so you can see that there is absolutely no risk of having a misunderstanding about which waypoint you are cleared to. And of course, the controller also gets the Wilco downlink response. It always takes a few seconds to show up, and there it is. Okay, so let's have a look at the message record. So by selecting that, we can see all the received messages. Um, and if you wanted to, you could select each one of these messages to, uh, you know, see what it was. Now the ATC controller is giving us squawk ident instruction. You can see it now blue being uplinked to us. And in the flat deck, we can see on the DCDU squawk ident. As always, we'll send Wilco. And then we'll press the ident button on the transponder. And again, we can see our downlink was received by ATC. Here comes another descent clearance. This time, descent to flat level 170. We'll co send. We'll dial in the new cleared level 170. And uh, just make sure that our response was received by ATC. And to the last example, here the ATC controller is giving us a frequency transfer. And so. It's going to transfer us now to the next sector, 134675. Now I know on the response video, I have a different frequency. Um, I had to take um, a new um, video uh, because uh, the first one that I did here, I didn't have the load button inserted yet, but it is inserted now. And so I'll show you how um, the request would look on the aircraft flight deck. So here is the uplink now. Contact, uh, well, it says Ryan Radar now, 13354. So, what we can simply do is, uh, well, of course, we'll send a Wilco um, response and we load the frequency. So, it's a load button now lighted up. We can load that frequency uh, so we don't have to dial in anything. We can simply load it, which is very, very, very comfortable, and then press the transfer switch to activate that new frequency. And to show you how realistic that is, here's some real world footage. See that lighted up uh, load button there, the new frequency gets loaded. We'll uh, send the Wilco. And the controller would get the Wilco response as a downlink. Here it is. And that completes the cycle. And now um, we've got the log off from his sector, so he's no longer responsible for us. And that concludes this video on the new CPDLC functions of the FS Labs A321. I can only encourage each and every one of you who owns the FS Lab 321 to use CPDLC. And that means ask your area controllers if they are offering CPDLC. The more of us pilots ask for the um, CPDLC functions, the more controllers will familiarize themselves with these procedures and offer a wider range of these services. And you've seen the advantages of these services. Um, and in real life, I can only say that in Europe, um, the CPDLC is used very widely across many, many different um, radar sectors. I would like to take the opportunity to thank all the VATSIM Austria controllers, which really helped me uh, with making uh, this video, um, especially to someone called Mac Chester who has also his own Twitch channel. Um, link is down in the description below. And also, in general, um, I appreciate the VATSIM controllers uh, work a lot. Uh, things have improved greatly over the last couple of weeks. So big thumbs up. Thank you, guys. That's all for now. I'll see you again in the next video. Until then, as always, happy landings.